welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here this week I'm going to be filming a week in my life kind of giving you glimpses of every day this week probably Monday through Thursday um, I don't have a ton of stuff going on any specific day of this week but we are planning on doing a lot of fun fall things kind of sprinkled throughout the week so I thought it would be fun to take you along with me show you what we're getting into and just kind of compile it all for you at the end of the week I'm still figuring out what works best for my channel so I thought I'd try this out instead of a day in the life but I think it will be really fun and I'm excited to bring you guys along for all of the fall fun activities so far today it's just kind of been a chill day Mark and I both woke up feeling a little bit anxious and since he works from home Monday Wednesday and Friday we do have a little bit more flexibility on those days so luckily we were able to get up and go take a nice stroll at one of the local parks there's actually a really close park to us that we love it's an old quarry so there's water there there's a nice little stream and a bunch of different trails so we had a lot of fun with that and then we actually went and grabbed a pumpkin cream cold brew which is a coffee that we both love so that was really nice to be able to just spend some time together in nature and you know we didn't have our phones so that's just kind of disconnect a little bit to begin the week yeah it was a really really nice morning I just finished getting ready doing my hair and makeup and now we have kind of a couple of errands to go run my mom and I are actually going to go to our local greenhouse plant store um, if you're in the area we love going to Straters it's such a nice spot and I noticed the last time we were there that they had some really beautiful mums and also some pumpkins not this past weekend but the weekend before my husband Mark's parents were in town we hosted them for the weekend and we went to a pumpkin patch and that was a lot of fun we got some treats and we got a couple of pumpkins there but they they didn't have a huge selection randomly at least of the kind of pumpkins I was looking for and they really didn't have very many mums at all so we had kind of been planning to get this stuff when we went there but it was so busy and the selection was just not that great so we decided to kind of hold off we got a couple of things and then decided to do like our big purchase later and we we're just getting around to it today so I'm really excited to go see what they have and kind of spend some time with my mom and but after that we're gonna come home put the porch together and then I do need to get some computer work done so I will do some of that and then I think we're planning on having like a nice yummy spaghetti dinner so we're gonna stop by the store while we're out and grab some stuff for dinner as well I don't know how much I'll film today but it should just be kind of a pretty chill day I am excited to get the porch done and see what that looks like and then I'll I think I'll kind of be done with all of my fall decorating and that kind of feels like a relief because people are already posting stuff for Christmas Christmas. like if I saw anthropology has all of their Christmas stuff out and I'm just not ready for that like I'm just finishing up with fall give me a break I don't know if you guys feel like that um, but it just kind of feels like you have to really be on things to buy the things that you want anymore I don't know if that's a supply chain issue or social media has influenced that or what so I don't know I'm sure I'll start thinking about Christmas here soon it's October 3rd so We've got a while before we start decorating for that, but it might be nice to grab a thing here or there so that I don't miss out on them for the season. So I'll share that with you all probably more likely over on Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram yet, this is my plug for you to follow me on there. I share every single day. I share a lot of links and things on there that I probably won't get around to talking about here. So yeah, be sure to follow me there. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'm new. I'm figuring this out and I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you would subscribe, like this video, any support that you have for me, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, let's get our day going and get some of this stuff done. Here is my outfit of the day for today. This is one of my favorite dresses ever, but it's super old. It's from H&M and because it's old, it, it is not in the best shape. So I don't mind getting it dirty, wearing it to go, you know, pick out some pumpkins and some mums. But I just thought that this was a cute, simple, fun fall fit. I love polka dots, if you couldn't tell. And then my hair today, I'm actually, this is the third or fourth time I've worn my hair like this. I just tried this out recently. I saw someone wearing their hair like this on TikTok and it's super cute. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just basically a claw clip. And instead of kind of clipping on the back, you just flip your hair up and clip underneath. But yeah, 
It was super easy to do. I am not very good at doing my hair, so you know that if I did it, it had to be really easy to do. So this is what our porch is looking like right now. We have our wreath out, but other than that, all of this stuff is just from the summer and the spring. So I will start by moving the ferns over to the sides of our porch and then get started. Okay, so here's what we got today mostly. A couple of the pumpkins back there we actually got at the pumpkin patch when we went, not this past weekend, but the weekend before when Mark's parents were in town, but we got some of these large, orange moms and then some smaller ones in this kind of maroon color and then we got some more pumpkins to kind of fill in i'm really happy about these two large ones that we got so yeah let's get to it mark's gonna help me and we'll get all of this set up and put together So we just finished up and here's what the porch is looking like. It's probably a lot simpler than some people would do, but I just like to keep it kind of simple on our front porch. I still think that this is a lot of pumpkins and mums, but I think it looks really nice together. Happy with how it turned out. We tried the new rug that I got to layer with this homebody doormat and the color of it just didn't really match anything that we had going on here. So I just put back the one that we had for right now and I'm gonna return that other one to Joanne's. And then I'll just kind of look around and see if I find another one if I like that I like. If not, then it's no big deal. But yeah, it's so nice to finally have this done and kind of feels like it's officially fall. I also forgot to tell you guys a quick tip if you have trouble with layering on your porch. Last fall I had Mark make me these risers. We just made them out of scrap wood really. They're very simple because the, the plant goes on top of it and you can't really see it. It's basically just three pieces of wood screwed together and um, we made two of those and we got those back out. I had the, him make those for me last year because I was having trouble with the layering and wanted this top one to be a little bit taller so that it doesn't, you know, get hidden back there. So just a quick tip that I think that would be a pretty easy project for just about anyone if you have, you know, just a regular piece of wood. You could probably even make one with two by fours. The only other thing that I think that I would add to this is I was thinking about getting some kind of basket for the moms, at least the ones in front where you can see the black plastic container. And I saw some bushel baskets at Hobby Lobby earlier this year, so, if they still have them, maybe I'll get a couple for these front two mums, but that's really the only thing other than maybe a different rug, but yeah, we'll see. I'll let you guys know if I find some different things for here, but, but overall I think it's looking really nice and I'm happy with the way it turned out and thankful that we were able to get it done so early in the season. I also want 
wanted to show you guys that Mark finished our coffee tables. I think they look so good. I'm so happy with them. So I think I'm gonna style them really quickly, just kind of with some things that we have around. I didn't vlog the process of doing this, but I did share it on Instagram, and I'm planning on making a little reel on Instagram about it, so I'll share that with you guys there if you're interested about how we made these. We went through like four different ideas before we figured out how we were gonna do it. And it involved making concrete and not using the concrete, so I don't know. It's DIY is kind of hit or miss, but I think that uh, turned out really well. I think it looks really nice in our space, and I'm excited to kind of style them real quick. late Tuesday morning and I've just been kind of getting ready and doing some stuff around the house. I watered all the plants this morning, cleaned up a little bit. Usually I try to water our plants on Sunday or Monday, but it didn't happen this week. So got them watered and that's kind of a load off. Hopefully they all will not be too mad at me. But um, yeah, today is just kind of a bit of a boring day. We're not doing much. I think we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and Aldi a little bit later for some fun fall finds we already have plenty of groceries but we like to do this once a season and get some like pumpkin flavored stuff and you know all that good stuff so i'll show you guys what we get when we go and do that other than that i just have a lot of editing to do today and kind of getting myself prepared for later this week um for when we're shooting a wedding and yeah i'll take you guys along and um hopefully tomorrow and thursday will be a little bit more fun but today we're just going to kind of take it easy and get some stuff done
did get these apple bushel baskets from Hobby Lobby. I had more stuff in my cart, but when I went to check out, she was trying to tell me that nothing was 50% off. And I kind of, I didn't fight with her, but I kind of stood up for myself and said that I definitely knew that these baskets were 50% off because they were in the fall section and all of the fall decor was 50% off. So she gave that to me, but the rest of it, she said it wasn't. Their signage there, I swear, is so confusing, but um, I was happy that I got these. I was not going to pay $20 a piece for them, but they ended up being about $10 a piece, and I think they'll look nice. So now I'm just going to place these smaller ones that were showing in the bushel basket and see how that looks. That's pretty nice. I think that's cute. I don't know if you guys can see it worried that they would be too short but I think that that works so we will do the second one see how that looks okay and now we don't have any like ugly black pot showing I think that that looks good what do you guys think Hi friends, we are back from running some errands and the last two places that we went were Trader Joe's and Aldi to get some fun fall treats. We don't do our regular grocery shopping at either of those places. Usually we just go to Kroger because they have a better selection, especially when it comes to like produce and meat. Um, and honestly, we have a lot of Aldi's close to us, but we don't have a lot of Trader Joe's close to us. So it's kind of like a once in a while treat. It's uh, you know, just to get some fun stuff. So I thought that I would give you guys a little mini haul of what we got. I'll start with the stuff over here, which is from Trader Joe's and then we'll head into the Aldi haul. So first we picked up some pumpkin brioche twist bread. This looks so good, and Mark commented that this would be really good to make uh, French toast with, so I think that that will be really fun. Also grabbed some vanilla almond spice chai, which I really like this time of year. I love chai, but that's just kind of like a little twist to it. Trader Joe's has a flavor of this uh, Synergy kombucha that we really like that we have a hard time finding other places. So we picked up a couple of the strawberry lemonade. That's really good. We also really like the peach paradise, which they now have at Kroger regularly. So that's our other kind of go-to. I do like like the Mystic Mango and a couple of other ones, but those are our top two. We, I've never tried these before, but we got some chocolate mousse pumpkin, so I'm excited to try those. And then one of the things I'm most excited about are these Mexican style hot cocoa melts. So from what I understand, they're kind of like a hot cocoa ball, but it's like Mexican chocolate, so I think it has a little bit of a spice to it, so I think that will be a really fun thing to have in the evenings. Um, now that it's getting like chillier in the evenings, I've been having cocoa and tea and stuff like that, so that's fun. We got the pumpkin pancake and waffle mix, which we usually get every year. We have some little like Halloween, I think one's a skull and one is a pumpkin, those little waffle makers, so we will use those, that's really exciting. Ciabatta rolls, not that exciting, but I really like their ciabatta rolls there, so we get those for like breakfast sandwiches and stuff like that. I already opened it, but we got a box of the ABC bars, which are kind of a classic, and then a couple of the chomp sticks, which are a really great snack. Kind of get those things like every time we go to Trader Joe's, so <clears throat> if you've never tried those, try those. I got the cocoa baton wafer cookies. They also have these in a pumpkin flavor, but we have a lot of pumpkin flavored things already, so I thought I'd try the chocolate ones, but it seemed kind of like a fun seasonal a little treat to have. Got a couple of cheeses. We really love this Cotswold Double Gloucester cheese. I think that's how you say it. And then we needed some Fontina cheese for a recipe, so we got that. And then moving on to Aldi, we got a pumpkin roll. Mark is very excited about that. I don't know if I've ever had a pumpkin roll before, so I'll have to try it. We got some stuff to make spaghetti, so some ground beef, and then they didn't have any regular spaghetti, so we got this chitara. It looks like it's just a little bit thicker than spaghetti, so we'll see if we like that. The thing I'm most excited about, which is this fun Halloween pasta. I feel like I'm such a child, but it just looks so fun, so we'll make some kind of fun pasta out of that. 
some caramel apples, which will be really fun. And then we got some pasta sauce for the spaghetti we're planning to make. And we also got this roasted red pepper and tomato sauce. Um, I think we're planning on having that with the Halloween pasta. And then last but not least, um, they have this really nice German brand at Aldi that we've had a few things from that we like. So we got the fall harvest vegetable soup and the harvest potato soup. Mark and I have been kind of splitting soup uh, for lunch lately, so those will be nice to have on hand. And that's it. A few fun things here and there, but try to be practical about it because when people make Trader Joe's hauls for fall and they get like... $200 worth of fall treats. I don't know how they're eating it all. Like if you just live in a two or three person household, are you just throwing it away? I don't know. Anyway, so this is our practical Trader Joe's and Aldi fall haul. And let me know if you guys have tried any of these. I'm really excited to try some of them. And as I make vlogs, I'll let you know when we try them and if we like them. finished up work for the evening. I kind of had to work a little bit later into the evening today, but um, we had a nice dinner and some family time together earlier in the evening. And now I'm about to go uh, open a book and get all cozy for the evening. Today was a good day, productive. I still have a lot more computer work to do tomorrow, but it is what it is. But we will have some fall fun as well. I did try a couple of those goodies that we got from Trader Joe's and Aldi earlier today. I tried those um, pumpkin mousse things. Those were pretty good. And Mark and I, those little wafers, the, the long wafers with the chocolate in them, and they were pretty good. So yeah, that was fun. Um, little after dinner treat. And now I've got to get to reading. I'm behind on my reading goal. I have to look at it. I think I'm a week behind. have to pull up Goodreads here, which is where I track all of my books that I'm reading or what I want to read. Okay, I am at 39 out of 52. One book behind schedule from my goal. So I need to catch up. I do have a stack of good books that I want to read on my nightstand, but I just haven't been reading as much lately. I kind of go in spurts and my goal this year was to kind of try to read a little bit every night instead of doing that but I think that that's just the kind of reader that I am like I will read like three books in one week and then not read a book for two weeks and it just kind of depends on how I feel and also this time of year there are a lot of tv shows and movies that we want to watch and there have been a lot of good podcasts that I've been listening to, so just, I don't know, whatever is going to help me wind down in the evening. So hopefully, hopefully I'll get some reading in tonight and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello friends, today is Thursday. I am just finishing up getting ready. Just got dressed and I'm just giving my hair a little curl quickly and then I think I'm gonna do a no makeup day today because I just, some days I wake up, especially because I've been wearing more makeup recently. Like when it gets into the colder months, I'm just wear more makeup and then my face kind of, I just have days where I wake up and I can just tell that my face needs a break. Do you guys ever have that? I don't know, I'm like 99% sure that I have rosacea. I haven't been diagnosed with it, um, but I have an appointment with my dermatologist soon and I'm gonna bring that up because I just get this redness and then like sometimes my makeup just won't stay on my face. So I can I can just tell it's one of those days where it's just not gonna go well for me. So it's better to just go 
without makeup but uh yeah i'm just gonna do my hair real quick here and then have a pretty busy day today i want to try to finish making that apple pie today and i have a diy that i want to do today i got all this stuff when i did my fall haul to make um some pumpkin pillows myself so i still have all of that stuff and i haven't done it yet so i want to do that um i also have to take my mom she's having surgery today it's like not super major surgery um she's just having some surgery on her teeth um that sounds weird she's having a surgery on her mouth i guess i don't know <laughs> So I have to take her to that and, you know, make sure she's okay. So I need to stick around the house today. But we will get that done and taken care of. And I also, of course, need to do some more computer work today. I have had so much computer work to do because I'm really trying to get wedding videos out of the last couple weddings I've shot and get them, you know, to the couple um before these last two weddings that we have to shoot um so yeah that's part of why i've just been kind of glued to my computer this week but it's good i'm getting a lot done and it will be nice to have that stuff off my plate and just be able to focus on the weddings that i'm filming this weekend and then we have another wedding in like two weekends after this one um, and then those are my last two exciting but it's kind of scary like I still don't really know what I'm doing next except for YouTube trying YouTube so we'll see but yeah that's basically what we have planned for the day I'm gonna finish getting ready here um, really just have to finish up my hair and then we will have some coffee and some breakfast um, I have been wanting to make a pumpkin cream cold brew at home, so I think I'm going to try that today. I have all of this stuff to make it. Got it when we went to the store last time, so I'm going to do that. I think I'm feeling an omelet for breakfast, so we're going to have that. And then we'll get started on our day. day now and she is just kind of relaxing and taking it easy now I am going to do some computer work have to go pick up a prescription for her in about an hour so get some stuff done and then after that I'm going to begin baking her pie I think.
Wednesday is now Friday. I apologize if yesterday's footage kind of ended abruptly. It just ended up being not a very vloggable day, I guess you could say. I just took my mom to her surgery and then got her settled at home. I had to, you know, run to the store, get her prescription, things like that. And then I really just worked on my computer for the rest of the day and got a lot accomplished and a lot done and I feel good about that. Um, but I didn't get to kind of the more fun things that I was looking forward to yesterday. So the good news is we're going to do that today, which is actually really nice timing because the day before a wedding, I always feel super anxious. And when I'm feeling anxious, I always find that it's good for me to do something with my hands, get creative or cooking, things like that. Um, just keep myself busy, give myself something to do. And these are things I've been wanting to do this week anyway, so that will be fun. You can actually see here, I've already got all of the supplies out that I bought at Joann's for the pumpkin pillows. So I'm getting ready to start that. So far today, I've just kind of been doing my normal morning routine. I got up a little bit earlier today than I usually do. I got up at six today, and that actually felt so nice because the house was so quiet for a while, and I just got to get some things done in the kitchen and around the house and have some quiet time to myself. So anyway, that's the plan for today. That's what we've got going on. It's kind of a dreary day out, not rainy or anything, but it's just not very sunny. Hopefully that changes soon, but regardless, we're just gonna stay cozy inside today and kind of have a fun day, keep ourselves busy. And yeah, I'm excited to take you along. Mm -hmm. and here are the three that I made today all together. They are far from perfect, but I think that they look pretty cute together and I'm gonna go put them upstairs on our bed and see how they look. And hopefully this little guy <laughs> who has been so interested the whole time, hopefully he won't drag them all across the house. He probably will, but they're not the most sturdy thing. So I, I'm hoping we can kind of keep them away from them a little bit, but. I don't know, this was really fun. I think it was a fun craft to do if you're looking for something to do for fall. And I really liked picking out the different fabrics so you can kind of like mix and match the ones you want together. I will say that the ones that were fuzzier, like the Sherpa material was a little bit easier to work with and a little bit more forgiving if you're thinking about doing it.
here. Our pie is done. We just had some lunch and am not doing anything too exciting for the rest of the day. I think we're going to make a simple dinner and probably go to bed really early just in preparation for tomorrow because it's going to be a long day. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for spending time with me. If you've made it through this vlog this far, then I really appreciate it. I hope that you guys will subscribe, follow me on Instagram. I have a few more fun fall videos uh, planned and then I'll be getting into decorating and planning for Christmas, which will be really fun. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today and I hope you have a great weekend and a great rest of your week and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.